The interference is certainly getting worse, Commander. Yeah, seems as though all our space communications are breaking down. That cloud of gas we discovered yesterday appears to be causing it. I guess it's interfering with our radio waves in much the same way sunspots do. It's getting closer to Earth, that's for sure. What do you think it is, sir? I don't know, Lieutenant. It's a new one on me. Sir, it could be atomic particles from a space explosion. Yeah, I didn't mention that, Lieutenant, because, uh, well, it's the obvious explanation. Which sectors are you still in contact with? Four, five, and eight, sir. Then order the nearest fireball to disperse that cloud of dust, Lieutenant. Message understood, Lieutenant. XL-18, signing off. XL-18 to Space City. I'm approaching cloud now. I sure am picking up some weird noises. It blew up, sir. The XL-18 blew up. It must have gone too close. Diverted the XL-24. He should rendezvous with a smoke cloud in three hours' time, sir. You'd better tell him not to get too close. Yes, sir. This begins to look like a job for Colonel Zodiac. I've lost contact with the XL-5, sir. I know. I wish I hadn't sent Venus on that medical mission. XL-5 calling Fireball Junior. Are you going to be much longer, Steve? A couple hours, maybe. Any news from Space City? Can't reach him, Steve, but I'm still trying. Okay, Professor. I'll call you as soon as Venus has finished the inoculations. Come in. Oh, come in, Doctor. Take a seat. Thanks. Well, I've just about completed my work here, Colonel. Oh, no. I was kind of hoping that you'd stay around. Those exploration guys don't often get such attractive visitors, you know. Well, thank you for those kind words, Colonel Hudson. Now, will you please roll up your sleeve? Oh, say, uh, are you really going to use that thing on me? <laughs> well, you're just as likely to catch restamesia as anyone else. These space diseases don't pick and choose, Colonel. And if the epidemic reaches here... You and your men will go down like Denvin. Ow! Ouch! Well, thanks for all your help. Well, you, uh, you sure you won't stay? I'm afraid duty calls, Colonel. Perhaps you'd be kind enough to radio Space City and let them know we're all through here. Afraid I can't do that, Dr. Venus. Uh, we haven't been able to contact Earth for two days. It'll sure be boss to get back to Space City, Venus. Oh, you can say that again. I wonder if Matt's managed to get through to Space City yet. Any luck yet, Matt? Um, no, nothing so far. The radio's okay. Must be atmospheric trouble. Okay, Matt. Keep trying. Ah, uh, no, 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 not now, Zuni. Can't you see I'm busy? <laughs> Zoo, 
Lonely. Restamesia. Oh, I'm a real tootie, Steve. All those injections, and I forgot Zuni. Well, he'll be okay, Woody. Well, I'll give him an inoculation immediately. He should be all right in a couple of days. Something's wrong with the television picture. Now, don't disturb your father, Jonathan. Can't you see he's asleep? I am not sleepy. And there's nothing wrong with that TV either. It's just interference. We're getting it all over Space City. <laughs> oh, gee, Pop. I wanted to watch it. Commander Zero, please. Just one moment, Lieutenant. It's for you, honey. What is it, Lieutenant? Sorry to disturb your sleep, Commander. I wasn't sleeping, do you hear? Yes, sir. The XL-24 is approaching the cloud area. I'll be right over. XL-24 to Space City. Come in, please. Reading you at Strength 2. Now remember. Don't get too near that cloud. Roger, Commander. <laughs> Zuni, and it's all my fault. Still, you'll soon be better. Well, if that's how Restamesia affects you, I'm glad I had that injection. I'll stay with him for a little while, Steve. Okay, Venus. I'll get back to control. We must be approaching Earth. Steve, can you come up to the navigation bay? It's urgent. Okay, Professor. I wonder what Matt's so excited about. What's the matter, Matt? I'm not sure, Steve, but I picked up the XL-24 on the astroscope. The XL-24? What's it doing in this sector? I don't know, but there's some mighty tooty things going on. XL-24 calling Space City. Range now, 3-2, a zero white. Take it easy, fella. Take it easy. Use the radio, Professor. Ask him what he's doing. Yeah, I've been trying, Steve, but there's so much interference going on. Seems that cloud's causing it. Look. He's bringing out the interceptors. Interceptors at the ready. Funny. Yeah, I can hear a sort of chattering. Oh, no. Not again. XL-24 destroyed. I know that, Lieutenant. Order all available craft to that area. I can, sir. All our communications are failed. We can't call anybody. It just exploded. I'm not so sure. What do you mean by that, Steve? I'm positive something came out of that cloud just before the explosion. I can play the recording, Ben. Make it in slow motion. up to the explosion now hold it right there professor yes that's a missile okay we've seen enough then there is something or somebody inside that cloud jamming all our instruments and moving towards the earth what are we sitting here for prepare the interceptors <laughs> Range 
six three zero wide and county nine eight seven six five four three two no closer matt one zero ignition five got an answer to our missile, Steve. It didn't explode. What's that noise on our radio, Steve? I don't know, Venus. Sounds like somebody talking. Okay, Steve. I'm putting it through the language decoder. The Earth people are putting up a fight, but they will soon realize that their weapons are useless. Nothing will stop us conquering their planet. Now we know what we're up against, Steve. An invasion fleet. And we're powerless to stop them. <laughs> Just hanging in the sky, sir. Obviously, Lieutenant, which at least proves it's no ordinary cloud. Atomic particles, eh, Lieutenant? <laughs> what a tooty idea. Yes, sir. I'm taking no chances. See that everyone at Space City is armed. What are you doing? Oh, nothing happened. Of course not, sir. You don't think I would have done that if it had been working, do you? I was just trying to tell you that the ray guns aren't working either. We're unarmed, Commander. Remain in Earth orbit. Remain in Earth orbit. But this is ridiculous. Relax, Venus. Relax. The Earth's being invaded, and all we do is sit and drink coffee. We don't like it any more than you do, but we've got to wait until we know the score. Yes, Steve's right. We may be the Earth's last chance. We can't land until we're sure. Why all this waiting? Whoever they are, they must know they've got us where they want us. The waiting's over, sir. Look! Coming this way, sir. Maintain Earth orbit. Okay, Robert. You don't have to keep repeating yourself. Anything on the radio yet, Matt? Nope. Still completely jammed. I think we should land, Steve. Oh, no, Venus. We'll stay up here. Maintain Earth orbit. Ecco, 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 ecco
talk in your language. Commander Zero, what's the idea of this, this invasion? We have taken over Space City. In a short time, we shall control your planet. I cannot expect a man of your low intelligence to understand that. So, I will translate. Oh, shut up, you great tooth. Silence! That message told me we are in complete control here. I hadn't forgotten. One of your fireball ships, the XL-5, is orbiting the Earth. You will order it to land. Why should I? You just said you're in control here. Either obey my commands, or you will die. Oh, go ahead and pull the trigger, blabbermouth. Your insults don't impress me. You have five seconds to decide. Five, four, three, two. Hey, Pop. What's going on? Hey. Who are these characters? Let go, or Papa bust you one. My lieutenant tells me that this aggressive young man is your son. <laughs> Perfect timing. I'm sure your son's life means much to you, Commander. And now I think we can persuade you to change your mind. Space City calling XL5. Space City calling XL5. Hey, Steve. Uh, did you hear that? Commander Zero's calling. Okay, Matt, I'll take over. What's going on down there, sir? Are you receiving me? Receiving you loud and clear. It's okay to land. Yes, sir. But what happened? I'll tell you when you land. I'm signing off. XL-5 to Space City. Come in, Space City. Oh, that's strange. They don't answer. Aren't we gonna land, Steve? I'm trying to think, Venus. You know, there was something strange about Commander Zero's voice. I think he was trying to warn us that we're walking into a trap. Okay, let's take a chance and land. We can't do much good up here anyway. Plot our course, Professor. It, right, it, it, give me a couple of minutes. If the XL-5 isn't down soon, I shall use this weapon. Why, if I could only get my hands on you. I can't insult on my kind. Landing trajectory 1870 blue. 1870 blue. Fire retros. Firing retros. God! They have broken orbit! Uh, prepare to launch missiles! Missiles? Yes! I have heard of this, Steve Zodiac. I intend to take no chances. They will be blown out of the sky! <laughs> Oh, 
Juan se Quite a story. But I still don't see how you managed to overpower them. Oh, it was nothing. We were just on our toes. Isn't that right, Lieutenant? Whatever you say, sir. Well, I'm sorry to spoil your little act of heroism, gentlemen. But I have another explanation. What do you mean, Venus? Very simple, Steve. Our invaders collapsed with Restamesia, the space disease. Why, zero! You cheating old toot! Yeah, well, <laughs> well, they, uh, they they might have caught a touch of it after we, uh, after we, uh, oh, what's the use? Ah, uh, don't take it too badly, Commander. You did your best. Anyway, it's all over now. Well, not quite, Steve. There is just one more thing. Oh, what's that, Venus? Why, inoculations for our two heroes, of course, Commander Zero. Lieutenant 90, roll up your sleeves. Okay, Lieutenant, you first. Oh, no, no, uh, after you, uh, uh, Commander. No, go right ahead, boy, you first. Oh, oh, oh no, sir, uh, no, sir, you, you, your rank, uh, sir. Lieutenant, you first, this is an order. Yes, sir. It won't hurt a bit. No! I wish I was a spaceman, the fastest guy alive. I'd fly you round the universe in Fireball XL5. Way out in space together, compass of the sky. My heart would be a fireball, a fireball. Every time I gazed into your starry eyes. We'd take the path to Jupiter, and maybe very soon We'd cruise along the Milky Way, and land upon the moon To a wonderland of stardust, we'll zoom our way to Mars My heart would be a fireball, a fireball Cause you would be my Venus of the stars 